I'm Isabelle. I am the founder of my French recipe. Welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make French macaron the easy way. We're going to use this baking mix to make our macaron. For the recipe, we're going to need egg whites, 65 grams. That's the only thing you're going to have to scale. Uh, it's about two medium egg whites, but I really want you to scale that part because um, macaron requires some precision. Don't use egg whites from a box, it doesn't work. For the tools, we need an electric beater, a spatula, two mixing bowls, um, one strainer, one uh, pastry bag and one pastry tip. The pastry tip is a size um, 803. You can find that on myfrenchrecipe.com. That's the tip you're gonna need to make macaron. Okay, let's start uh, with the straining of the flowers. Okay, so first, let's open this baking mix. In the box, you have two bags. For the first step, we're gonna use the big bag, okay? This is sugar and we're gonna leave that on the side for now. So let's open the bag and we're gonna strain all the flowers that are inside. When you have pieces inside, you can just break them with your fingers. Okay, here we have our um, dry ingredients that are ready to use. So now let's move on with the egg whites. Okay, so first we're gonna do a French meringue. The French meringue is basically just egg whites that we are gonna beat with some sugar until stiff to pick. So that's pretty easy, okay? So our egg whites first. Remember, 65 grams, that's very important. I'm going to start beating with the uh, electric beater. When the eggs are starting to foam, like foamy, like bubbly, like um, looking like soap a little bit, I'm gonna add the sugar, and then I'm gonna increase the speed until stiff to pick. Okay, let's go. My egg whites are really bubbly now, so I'm gonna start adding the sugar. And now I'm increasing the speed. So now is the time to macaroni. Macaroni is a French word that we use only to mix uh, macaron. So we're gonna take the dry ingredients and we're gonna put them in the wet ingredients. Then we're gonna fold, so macaroni, to macaron. We're going to fold until everything is combined together and until the batter texture is very close to a pancake batter. You don't want to mix too much or mix not enough because then you wouldn't have the right texture of a macaron and that's very important for the whole process. Okay, so I'm going to show you when to stop. Okay, so dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Put everything and then we fold. Okay, so the right texture is really when the batter folds like a nice ribbon. So you wanna mix a little bit more. The more you mix, the wetter the batter is gonna be. It's gonna be more wet, okay? Because you're gonna break down these egg whites. A little bit better, not quite there. Okay, that's perfect. So it's falling like a nice ribbon. It looks like, uh, like lava, okay? That's what we want. That's perfect. So now we're gonna take the batter and put it in the pastry bag. Okay, our batter is ready. We are now going to fill our pastry bag with the pastry tip. So the pastry tip is inside, okay? You have to let it go a little bit outside of the bag. Since I buy myself, I'm going to use a mug to fill it. Here, and now I can scoop the batter inside. Okay, so I'm scooping all the batter inside the bag. So the mug tip is very useful when you're by yourself, but if you have little assistant, kids, husband, 
you can use their hand instead of a mug. Okay, so I just filled my pastry bag with the batter and we're gonna pipe the batter. So to pipe the batter, I'm using the pan coated with parchment paper and I'm gonna pipe about 40 macarons. Don't forget that because you don't want, you don't want to have super big macaron or super small macaron, all right? Okay, so you have to be perpendicular to the pan and very close to the pan. You have one hand here to close and one hand here to guide. You're gonna squeeze with this hand here. Squeeze, 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 and stop. So it's a little bit bigger than a quarter, all right? You don't want them to be too close to each other because they're gonna uh, rise a little bit and spread a little bit. So we want to make sure that they are not sticking together. Okay, and voila. Okay, the macarons are ready. They've been in the oven for 18 minutes at 300, 100 degrees. Um, they are dried on the top. When I take the parchment paper like that, I can see that they are dry also on the bottom, okay? So now is the time to uh, fill them with any kind of filling you like. You can use buttercream, chocolate ganache, um, chocolate spread, peanut butter, banana, anything you like. Um, you fill them and then you can just close them and make a nice sandwich like that. If you need any recipe for the fillings, just go on myfrenchrecipe.com. On the blog sections, there are tons of recipes for the fillings. Uh, but you can use really like any jelly if you want to keep it simple for the first times. But that's it. That macaron made easy for you. <laughs>